June is here and that means many of us are picking up a summer read and this month's book of the month with the Allegheny County Library Association is We Were Liars and it's a young adult novel which is why Lila didn't read for us this month but what a book centered around friends and a devastating secret it's a great read and sometimes it takes a good book to get us back into the fun of reading for kids without it the summer slide can easily happen so to give us some good recommendations and things to do this summer we have Colleen Miles from Upper St. Clair Township Samantha Varela from Andrew Carnegie Free Library and Music Hall. And we have Emily Bryan Reader from Green Tree Public Library. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having, yeah, thanks for having us. And it's so great because we're going to dig into a lot of different things. But Colleen, I wanted to start with you about some programs that Upper St. Clair is offering for kids this summer. So of course we have our standard story times for kids of all ages from babies to elementary school. We have weekly activities that will bring kids in to make a mess at our our park that's next door to our library. And we have um, three special programs that I'm very excited for this summer, one in June, July, and August, which will bring together um, some community partners. So we'll be having a Public Works Touch a Truck Day, a uh, carnival at a nearby farm, and a an open house at our volunteer fire department. That's wonderful. And Samantha, how about you? Uh, we have lots of stuff going on this summer at the Andrew Carnegie Free Library. Um, this summer we have a story time every day of the week that we're open for babies and preschoolers and then we also have weekly programs for elementary age students like our weekly craft time, our weekly read aloud, and our weekly um, special program that we have every Friday. So we have lots of fun happening every day that we're open. That's wonderful. And Emily, how about at your library? We also have wonderful story times that I do uh, once a week with all ages and I'm really looking forward to Sticker Palooza which is <laughs> next Monday. Um, it's for all ages from little kids even adults can come um, and we are going to share stickers. You can bring your own, you can swap with people and we will have tons of stickers to um, distribute with the community. We're going to make sticker books. It's going to be awesome. That's so much fun. Kids <laughs> love stickers. I, I know they usually end up on me I, without <laughs> me even knowing. The summer slide though is a real thing and I know Pittsburgh Public, I think they're still in school, but some of these kids are already getting out and they're already bored and they don't know what to do with themselves. A good book can help them. Mm -hmm. You each brought some recommendations, yep. so I don't know who we should start with. We'll start down here with okay. you, Colleen. What do well, you have? I'll start with Endlessly Ever After. It is a mashup of a choose your own adventure <gasps> and folklore and, fairy, folklore and fairy tales. And it's a book you'll never finish because you can just keep going down different paths of the story and then you'll be told to start over again and go down a different path. It That's was, wonderful. It's so fun to read. What age group was that I for? would say um, probably seven and older just to get to have the background of knowing the the characters and just it's a lot of words. So it's a lot yeah. of words. Okay. <laughs> and the other book that oh, we have. Oh, it's called Who Stole the Wizard of Oz. It's an oldie but a goodie, a nice quick mystery about um, two siblings who have to sort of exonerate themselves after they are accused of stealing a book. Oh, sorry. Um, from the public library. That's wonderful. Yeah. And Samantha, what do you have? I have a couple great selections. My first one is The Marvelers by Dion Clayton. This is a new magical story. Um, Think of it like a new version of Harry Potter almost. Ooh. It's a magical story about um, Ella, who's the first girl with her type of magic to be entered in or to be allowed into the magical school in her universe. It's very cool. This is a great book for, I would say, anyone 11 and older would love it. I really enjoyed reading it myself. That's so this great. is great for the middle grade. I also have this book, Friday Night WrestleFest by J.F. Fox. This is an incredibly fun and silly story about just playing with your family at home. Uh, the family gets pizza and has their own little WrestleMania night, and it's so <laughs> sweet. I think every family can relate to it. That's, that's wonderful. And Emily, what do you have here? Yeah, um, I brought a book for younger kids called Dad Bakes. Um, I love this one because it shows a father in sort of like an unusual kind of a role, a caretaking role. Um, and I love, too, that he looks like, you know, a dad that you might see in real life, like he has tattoos and like he looks, you know, right. Like not like, a, like your typical like storybook dad. Right, exactly. But like a real dad. Like a real dad. Exactly. It's Amazing. perfect for Father's Day coming up. And then the other book I brought is called Rewilding, which I think is gorgeous. This is a nonfiction book for like a little bit older kids. Um, and it's about, isn't it beautiful? Wow, look at the yeah. illustrations. I know. And it's about um, introducing 
animals that have been displaced from their habitats and are like are in danger of extinction. Beautiful. Being be reintroduced back into their um, native environments. A lot of learning here. Mm -hmm. Thank you all so much for coming in and for telling us just a little bit because I know it's just a small <laughs> peek into what you all are doing. Don't forget this month's book of the month is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart and the Allegheny County Library Association has a summer reading list that you can check out on our website. We're going to have a link for you. There are tons of recommendations for all ages.